Oh yeah, Mitch and Matthew. It's like, yeah, they have two letters that are the same, but those names are completely different. I would have said Michael, just for the first two letters being the same, but let's hold that thought for a second. Because now, here comes Sociable, finds the first two. Josio though, is there. It doesn't matter which agent he's playing, he's gonna find kills, only able to find one though, as Root instantly pushes on forward. So the plant should be coming through, with Spike now down on the side. A 2v4 retake to follow. Spike planted. God, a tough one at that for Bonk. Not really a way back in. They've also got the information on the flanker and they are also vulnerable at this stage. Not that it matters. A headshot will take them down no matter what and kicks. I think he's just going to try and reposition and, and find some sort of exit kill here. Yeah, you don't really you don't really save a frenzy in a pistol round. If you do, that would be a first, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think you really save a frenzy anywhere. Nah, no. <laughs> Unless if you have an AWP 2 and that's what you're saving. Yeah, that's true, yeah. but I don't think anybody would go, Guys, I've saved my <laughs> frenzy. And oh, I'm going to bring it into the next round and we'll be <laughs> safe. opponents would be able to get into the site. You know they have the better weaponry, but then if you're in a post point situation, 5v5, five five, does that come in handy or does it? Not sociable. Gets one destructive, missing a few bullets there. Allowing for the kill to come through. Now the plate storm is going to be available, as you said before. They're not expecting them to use it, Woot. He doesn't need a rifle. He's just fine with the ship. Oh, right here. This is going far too well for Fireflux, if anything. Right here. A five versus three. Go desperately trying to find a way back in. But look at where Social currently is. He's making a late flank. It's if he's even needed. He was, he was just telling his teammates to buy time, wait as long as possible. Instead, though, they've wiped out almost the entirety of their opponent's arsenal. And well, Keiko, I think, is very confused right now. <laughs> just spamming at walls. He's about to run backwards into the man. He was just ridiculously well for him that. Wow. Powerless. Can't really expect much more. Now the ult starting to come online alongside it as well. Bladestorm invested, being attempted to use over the top. The flash is sublime. Bonker doesn't stand a chance in hell. No utility to be had. Well, still a couple of players here fighting. Jusu has managed to couple, and what started so poorly has now become a huge advantage. Sturban was remaining on the side. What to do with it? Fatal comes through over towards B. That's exactly where they're going to be headed leaves a solo defender for now bonker actually able to take one he's bought some time at least and well the igl has had some high impact rounds but this might be the most of them again him alongside destructive and while time being bought well i did not not really oh i say that actually they've missed he's not sure he hasn't found it so he is going to be able to get the spike and flee back towards the site he knows that he has to almost plant immediately and with his turret already being broken just trying his best to bait players in the clock is gone it needs to be the kill and while bonker the man oh there's always time look at the aggressive are they gonna push this they are they're going through with a flash trying to almost catch their opponents off guard instead and oh, destructive is able to correct the aim i don't know how he's alive Whoa. jusu has come through he's brought bonker back from the fray and they're pushing into the a site thinking it's clear it is not clear there are still two players around the back of this site. A jumping headshot attempted by Sociable. I know they are starting to put pressure in towards that mid position. It seems like they've spotted Sturban. Hicks up. Oh, I was about oh, to say. Time. A, little, a little bit optimistic to try and make a move left. through, but seemingly stuck in the mud. The time, though, is the main issue. 25 seconds to get into this site. Destructive has been a rock so far, but finally. Yetage will take him down, however, the trade is almost immediate. Yep, things are not happening fast enough. The cavalry is arriving at a pace at which Firefox can't quite work with now. But presented up on heaven. One Last spot with a back turn. Yeah, yeah, finds one. It would be a nice quad if he finds the fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was an attempt. You thought your 9 billion IQ played it in the end of it. Kaiko was there, ready and waiting. If I just go through the smoke right before it lands, yeah, nope. Not gonna happen. Not gonna be allowed. Kicks. Ready and waiting. Unfortunately for him, sociable is too. Great trade coming through from Destructive, who, as you said, has played a phenomenal A side so far. Gets to leap, gets to hub off, and now 
Let's see if this plant is going to come through or not. No because way. As far as I can That's see. That's the spike. Yeah, I was going to say the spike, spike is caught in main. Oh, Fortunately, oh, Eddie A stays alive. That TP play almost just ended the round, but yep. the ETA just connecting his shots. This lockdown, yeah, I was about to say, it's not going to cover off completely. This is risky, but it works out. Gen C catching a timing and from, again, an advantageous position to a pretty poor one now for Bonk. One enemy remaining. Yeah, this is going to be with an open hand as well. Or the side of Fireflux, but in the meantime, no they idea. see. Oh, I don't know. For a second, it looked like Woot was going to check it, but instead, <laughs> it's just a triple spray down. This short control has been a kryptonite for them. We saw it a couple of rounds ago. Wow. Just absolute. Because obviously, most people would call everywhere. Playing open world games and saying he's behind the tree. Oh, the tree. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, let's see now. Full committed push towards B is where we're standing. Sturban first one to fall. Looks like this push is going to be, yep, prevented before it even gets started. Yes, it does get one in return. And here comes the knife. Social Blade finds one. Social Blade. I like him. You, you, you combined his name with the ability he used. I'm just that Two good. to two. You are. You are a genius in your own right. Aunt's spotted from kicks hoping he could get something off the back of the wall bang but not this time utility being expended onto the site and what a teammate gone that leaves it all on to so for bonk is the fact that a lot of the time you're going to see these heavy defensive side halves on this map in particular and for both sides that's normally what you get destructive oh, oh, oh. i've been enjoying him throughout this map and he will continue to cause issues with a, a cheeky little tp play to get behind him in this matchup looking like they're just going to hastily take their way into short oh, not clearing the angle completely but the trade is there at all no jitsi is a well, he's lost his crosshair. Luckily, Woot still going to work well as the sang and the paranoia doesn't hit, but he lands every single shot. Awkward, but again, they're going to go doubling back, and this leaves a lot of pressure onto Woot. Now, he's delayed them, but he's also been shot in the face. And as the rest tries to rotate, it leaves Judsi with his time to shine. A first shot connected. Toby starts to believe, but unfortunately, he's run out of bullets. <laughs> Not the quickest gun to reload, unfortunately. And down they go. Round looking very winnable on the side of Bonk. But can't count out here at CA and the jet main just yet. Yeah, they should be home down on the flank. I believe Sociable has got himself a rifle. They're already going to be able to deck one. Even just the damage that they're doing here is more than enough for around, at least for the next 10 or so seconds. No more Actually, oh, okay. okay. Yeti, I, I think they must have got caught by a flash that was thrown by your man himself. So it may yeah. not be on the, the board fragging wise, but that flash must have done a lot because neither okay. player, I think, even got a shot off. And if that's how you find yourself useful in the team, you know what? I'm all for it. That is perfect. Set up your teammates for success. Get yourself the wins off a bit. Teleport comes through. Doesn't go unnoticed, though. Teleport again! But well, takes more to pull Kaiko. Finds the first social blade there, though, to get the second. And now, the 1v4 pose plane won't even get the plane, at least not initially. <laughs> uh, he's got his res, but no one yeah, no. we brought back. That's the player's trying to get over the top of the wall. The thing is, he's leaving himself only with one point that he can hide from. You know, not just your healer, so I, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think Sage is pretty much telling us there that he's probably going to be trying to put up some numbers. Nico again. That's the entry. Took so much damage on the way in that I thought he was going to be screwed for sure, but... Never mind, he's found himself a kill. Bladestorm online as well, if it's necessary. And they have themselves a res. Good bounce some real back opportunities round. here. Indeed it is, and it's a route where I don't think there's too much invested into it. So if they come out victorious, I mean even now with the first kill and the and the plant down, you'd consider it a a pretty decent round regardless of the outcome. But let's see if there's a push that can get anything done. Destructive finds one goes down instantly. Gen C does find one of the wall bang in return. Now one more falls. Time is running out though for Fireflux to try and muster this play out of bullets. Unfortunate situation. It kicks now in a 1v1. More time needs to be pulled. 
I don't know how Woot is in this position. I'll be honest with you. It's an intriguing one. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's going to play any part sociable, though. Still with that Blade Storm. He doesn't have anything else left. It's just going to have to be a classic kill on the Destructive, which might be a little bit infuriating. Paranoia not quite catching him. This is one of the weirdest battles I think I've ever seen. And now, the Hunter's Fury? The Hunter's Fury is going to pick him up this guy? At 5 HP? This is just absurd. They have and the spike 25 too. seconds. He has oh, the spike has to too. Go. He's trying to slowly isolate the angles, but what? he has to get a little bit of a move on here. What? Gen Z now having a pretty solid idea of where his opponent's going to be. Looks to try and just walk his way out. Timing here going to be everything. The man not turning around. If he jumps down, it should be. So many places he could be in now. Full committed push comes on towards A. They're already in on side. And here they go. Kaiko shotgun in head. Tries to fight the first. Doesn't succeed in doing so. Actually, it's a trade. One for one the other way around. Plant, though, should be coming through in just a moment's time. So she was playing a dangerous game. They get walled off, so not really much they can do about that. They've got to break that surely before they throw in the ult. I assume that's already been done, but yeah, there's still aspects of it causing them a few issues. The ult has revealed the players, but it's taken them some time to clear it. Trades going back and forth, but ultimately coming out last in favor of this defensive side. And now Kaiko, the last man standing. 1v2 needs an insta kill. And actually, I think the other player was reloading. So because of that, he basically got Ooh! to take the brawl of Turkey to finish, but Bonk looking to try and, well, reduce it by four players. Destructive would still be on that list. Ooh, what is this, what is this push from the defense? I what is, they've just walked all the way through. Spike down, B. I, I mean, I think they tried to use the... Yeah. B main it made it a lot tougher for them to sort of make that move happen. One more you round needed for Mitch to, Ooh, by the looks of it, Bonk might just be oh. going for a, a very basic, fast-paced hit into B. Yeah, the setup is there. I mean, every utility that you could possibly have on B is there ready for the counter. Let's see if it's going to work out for them. Though yet he finds the first as Kaiko falls. Such a high impact player to lose early on. That's unfortunate. Bonka actually what? sprinting through spawn. They're going for the decoy play here. They're I full speed sensing was, it. This wasn't the initial plan. One I can tell you that for free, but... Pinged up early in this site. He's not had the greatest of games, which is not something I've been able to say too often in this tournament. And they need him right now. It's not looking good. The swing out is dealt with by Destructive. Two players stand in Bonk's way after playing another tournament earlier in the day, coming into this match to try and make their way into that grand final. They just need to find these remaining two kills or just let the spike do its job. 2e5 retake, turret now up, one more kill for Sturman away one from a nightfall, but first to fall, second to fall, and there you have it, it's going to be bonked.